too far away now, this. Uh, That's a counterweight. bolted it on and you can move the chuck out and in by tightening and loosening the chuck to adjust the counterweight bolts there cutting pretty parallel it's 12 thou up at the moment see what happened an axle broke inside this F350 and bruised it all up and bearing split in half and started machining well spinning around cutting all this out around so anyway if the bearing only goes up that far we well, welded most of it all up so um a couple of low spots there i missed that but that'll be all right so all we've got to do put make sure our Got plenty of oil on there, we don't want to damage the seal diameter. So, we could, uh, it's a steady rest. <coughs> Why don't you go faster? I don't really want to do that. It's reasonably balanced. I've only got that one down about 10 thou off the job. The sheer weight of the center keep it down there. It's only been machined way up there. Up in the star, the uh, field diameter. side is um, there and been skidding around on the crown wall side which is that side we'll spot face that later a big drill but um that is, well that's 41 40 60 ton tensile these stub axles just missing there though, isn't it? Well, I'm asking this. Yeah, so, um, I got those lock nuts on there with a um, lock washer of a keyway. These houses have very agricultural methods of holding the dual wheels on. They've got this little channel wedge driving into a, a, a nylon rock nut. They've been known to come loose. They're made then up. I should show the viewers then because we've got these houses and I want those rock nuts. One of them don't kill someone when these wheels come off. Uh, I reckon it'll be a couple of foul up with those, um, those 12. 12 foul, I'm taking 10 off the diameter. If we can... A more measure it. Anyway, 
this tip. We can change that because we um, get a better finish. Change the corner. Stop that if you want. Well, I might as well film you changing the tip. People don't even know what the tip is. Don't they? You sure about this? How would they? That one's the same size as that, because I had to put two of them in. I was that tight the other day. They say it's round enough. Mm hmm. Um, anyway, we can get it from the top. Couldn't get it out on the boring, though. The other day, one of these tips, I had to put two in. <laughs> anyway. That one's a good corner. These are a lot of rake, sharp, these ones, I suppose we could have um, used a bigger radius one, but anyway, there doesn't seem to be any hard spots in the uh, material. These are tips. Parting off tips. Triangle tips. The one he's using are these with heaps of rake. Carbide tips, ceramic tips. to where the actual bearing runs. It's three under the zero, that. Hmm. Three under the zero, it's on zero there. one under the zero so we're about what we'll do we'll uh Six past the bloody three. Well, if you passed it, that would be okay. You got right on the back of the size. We have to wave this. German wave. Good wave. 
powerful. We've got a seven regimen at this lake. That's right. What would you need to do that for? Nine seconds, one breath. Why would you need to go that slow? Oh, well, you might have to screw cut a bit, trip and start, bloody thread on a big screw. This is running through there. What's this labour? Shearer? Shearer. German Shearer. Look the size of the head. That's why it's a table. Yeah. It has some massive, big, strong gears in there. Yeah. Was this laid from like World War II or something? And that that is that should be still running through that. But to make absolutely certain, you could put a trusty indicator on there. That will look, couldn't we? Two thou. It was one thou before. But anyway, we can um, machine. Two thou's all right, between there and there. Why are you touching that? Ah, oh, I'll just trim it up a bit, the dam. Doesn't a bearing go on there? Nah, a bearing goes here and there. Oh. Well, what's the point in touching that then? Well, uh, can drop it back a bit if you want. It's not even cleaning up, but... Had a high spot on it. We um wouldn't want that to grab onto you. It'll tear your arm off. Drag you in, fucking Drag crush you in that bed. The we machine won't careful. stop. <laughs> careful on big blades. Big blades, you gotta be careful on any lathe. Huh? I'm charging my phone. With the battery pack. Imagine that got caught in there. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. A steady rest is sort of like a tail stock, which is, that's a tail stock there. But if you haven't got a center, you put the center in there, and then the center goes on the end of like an axle or something. There's the center. But if you haven't got that, you can use a steady rest. It's got three adjustable points, which is one, two, and there's one back there, which you just screw in with that lever, screw in with that, and it just runs and steadies it, so it runs true. Yeah. A steady rest. Here's another one. That's a big one, isn't it? Got a few dingle bearers on this one. 
Spot here. Um, or around this way, I think it is. You can feel it. But anyway, that's right now. That's right on the size I wanted, the same as the other end. I might the other end. The two inch bearing goes on there. So it's one thou under, which is what that other one is. So that's um, finished now. A little bit of shit in there. So he welded it all up and then he machined it again because it was all distorted, wasn't it? Well, it was. That round. Stop this, yeah. We'll have to uh, get it out of here now. Okay. Which, um... Well, shall I turn this off? Yeah. These here got a that bearing only goes on about that far. So we made that nitride and washer. And that key fits up against the bearing, the same width as that, fractionally smaller. And then, this nut, got various holes in there, see, for the bolts. And we'll just use the um, socket head cap screws going there, so you screw this on. There, and you find which hole with the bearing firm, put two socket edge cap screws in, it's only that long, they go flush, so they go into there, and the bearing can't come off. You've seen <coughs> what they have in these bloody things, they've got this channel, little channel wedge, knocks a lot here. And goes in. This is stock material. This it's five mil material, and you just bloody grind it until it's the right height. Five mil keyway they have in these, so that can't go any further. And with that washer there, where are we? There, like that. It. Um, prevents the bear gradually, they just gradually skid around on these, but it'll have no influence to unscrew that nut. So they work all right, those things. I've heard of a few of these housings throwing off um, one thou down from the bearing, which is the other same as the other. You think it was more than that? The other one's the same. And there's no wear in this. Okay. They just gradually turn around, these fucking things. So anyway, so that fixes that part up. All we've got to do now is fix up this part in here. See that? Which we've got the technology to do that. We made up some tools, spot facing tools, F-350s, F-250s, Land Rover Dana 60s, they, they suffer. 
that worked out right that end. Um, <clears throat> so I'll go and get these parts that I used in the past. So the bearings skid around and they wear into this shoulder here and throw up a burr. And that could be all out of square. So we get a tool that goes bolts on the end there and comes through a bar with a high speed steel tip or whatever. It goes around, you rotate it with a drill at that end, electric drill, and it comes around and around and it just cleans up that face. You do that to both sides and it fixes that problem. Here we go. Here it is here. What cuts it? Is it a high speed steel tip? No, I put a carbide tr tip on it. Hey? Oh, I see. You did, eh? Give me a look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I see. And it spins around in there and it cuts that face. Now, this one goes like there. Uh, oh, I'll put that, that way, actually. Right. And look what goes on here. Here's a um, anyway we can uh scrub screw goes up there. That must have been the other way around, I think. Because this nut goes there. I've got to put this one on here. This cutter. So we milled it out, so it's got to be at about three, three degree clearance or something. I think of that. Mm -hmm. That fits up there. That piece goes in there. It's the um there you go, should be alright. We'll just chuck the caps on there now. Use this big drill. The bearing caps are here. That one goes there. That one there. Quarter of these things, isn't it? Could be into the um, the cutter could be into the uh, Channel. Mm hmm. Talk to our own terms, eh? So look. Oh no, there's the cutter there. So, anyway. <laughs> That's hard onto the thing itself. Mm hmm. There it is. So, what you do, this thing there, you wind this back. And now, so it's free to turn. There's someone's. There we go. There we go. Do this up. Do that one up and the other one up and get you down. One's ready to 
that. You do it with your hand, even. Oh, you could. This is rotating as you're doing that. That's, right. That's why it's feeding in. So I'll go and get my big trusty drill. Put the drill on the end. <laughs> Clamp the drill on the end. The drill rotates the bar, which rotates the cutting tip. And to feed it in, the cutting tip at the end there, to cut more or less, you just turn this nut on the end. Screw it in and this all will go forward. Screw it out, this all will come back. So you can mesh, it's like a portable lathe. This is doing the exact same thing you do in a lathe, except homemade. Anyone could make one of these, portable lathe. Just takes a bit of thinking. Don't have to be a rocket scientist, you just have to have a brain. Jesus. <laughs> that drill's older than you, Dad. <laughs> sure works. Must be in the drill he used to drill a hole in a big safe or something, doesn't he? That's about 100 revs. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we'll try that part. I think that fits in here. Mm. So all we need is a bit of an uh, electrical extension cord. I'm going to hold that while I'm yeah, right. pushing. Mm -hmm. It's still free there. I'm going to fit here or cut and I'll go and get the extension. Mm -hmm. One there, there. So, that drill, I bet you couldn't buy one of them anymore. Really slow revving drill. Used to be yellow by the looks of that. Used to be. It's not moving. Oh yeah, there we are. It's going now. Um, we've got to make sure that this is tight. I don't think this is tight. Oh, okay. I was watching that and I was turning around. So I was getting the arm of the key. Mm-hmm. And, uh, size grub screw that. Memory. Look at that. It wasn't tight. So, the old diff could tear under the diff, see? Now, it's, um, just a key if the whole lot is actually. <clears throat> that seems to be all right, yeah. Go. Hang on, I've started skidding the chuck. Oh, the cut of my jam. There we are. Yeah, 
trying to cut in the whole face. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did, yeah. And find out. That's the only thing you got to peel out and take this cap off. Yeah. I don't know, it's still got more to go. Okay. Uh, it's hard to um, push this because it's. Um, Oh no, it's not in the vise. That's right. It'd be nice if we had it in the vise. Or pushed up against the three jaw, that one of this, this thing here. Anyway. So stop, stop the machine. Okay. Put it that way. So we just moved it so we can get the drill and push forward with the drill. So he's always pushing forward because it was about to tip over before. We're using the hoist arm to lock it in. So, yeah. That's all right. So once it's cut, then you wind it that way and then it comes off the cut, doesn't it? Yes. So what we've got to do first is rotate this. Something jams up and throw the fucking thing off the bloody stand. Yeah. Uh, Directions cut. Uses dozens of times over the years. Used for a few years now. You do them inside while they're in the car or <laughs> the vehicles. No need to take them into the, the vehicle. Just yeah. So, cutting. yeah, it's cutting. Stop it there. I'm going to You can see, we're only just a little wing left. I'll get one. <clears throat> oh, I still got the rim there. So uh, still needs more. Yeah. It does. That's a cut. Yeah. Oh. 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 I'm going more, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sometimes drop a bit of oil on there so that they don't see as well. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Oh, it's nearly done. Look, see see the patch? Yeah. Nearly nearly cleaned right up. See how they wear out a square? Mm. So Things you never know, you just never know. Mm -hmm. hey. so when it starts to cut again, mm -hmm. just go up. Would have been just a touch more. Look in there. 
still just from there onwards, isn't it? Miles will do it as again. Mm -hmm. What a shame. Anyway, we'll do it this time. Now we'll just have a look, it should be. Hard to see, but caps on, right? Mm hmm. Back, we have to. <coughs> look. Oh, what a Shine your light in there. She's done. Mm hmm. Eh? So all you do, you machine a step washer that spigots into there so it can never come out. You fuck all those uh, shims off that these imbos fucking have under the cones and you put shims there, if anywhere. And then you don't have to press the bearing off all the time, do you? Mm -mm. You just give that a hit and that'll unscrew. We can do the other side. I'll get the pin punch. I have it nearby somewhere. Nice square machined face now. Yeah. Just centre punch will do. I've been looking for that centre punch. <laughs> now I found it. Well, the chain's on. <laughs> Two inch link chain. I don't lose it again. Yeah, I'll hold the end. So, should I stop this now? Yeah.